Hello, party people. We're here to talk about Return of Damage in this one here. This movie. Um, so as, as I spoke about the first one, um, this film, this film is very similar and that's kind of a kind of an evil emperor rising up to basically take over, uh, kind of forcing out people rather this time it's not kids, but rather like the kind of existing, um, emperor or leader, whatever, um, yeah, they're like, hey, everything's kind of fine. Everything's cool here. Hey. And then they like force him out. And he's like, oh, I don't like this. And yeah, they kind of, their god basically goes, whoo, I don't like that either. How about we put a stop to this? And they, yes, they kind of do. Kind of. Um, but the, yeah, the god doesn't like it. So basically, Basically, try and destroy the statue again. Very similar to the first film, just a little bit earlier on in the film. A little bit, not too much. Um, because this is still very much a samurai film with a kaiju in at the end. Just to feel like we get a little bit closer to the kaiju, a little bit sooner. Um, or at least we see we see the effects of the gods kind of being like, oh, we don't quite like you taking over. Um, so they say him in a few ways. Um, like destroying boats with their kind of new guys who's taken over uh, their, their soldiers and they basically get destroyed and it's basically this evil emperor guy goes we're going to line up a statue and obviously yep it angers the damage in so he comes back again shocking um, yeah this one is very much kind of a kind of a retread just a s slightly different way um <laughs> And I don't think it's as good as the first one. Maybe just because the first one is, yeah, it's very, very simple, easy to follow story. And this one, it's a lot of stuff that's kind of like superfluous in a way. I'm just like, yeah, I don't care. Whereas the, the, the first one, I'm just like, yep, it's a nice story. It, it works well. We've got good characters to root for. Uh, this one, I'm just like, well, what's, why, why should I follow this guy? Just just because okay he's the leader why okay nope yes fine why the fine yeah do I just what what resources okay fine let's just yeah I don't know it's like saying about it I just I I definitely prefer the first film um yeah they're just like the evil damage is like I don't like it that you're burning a lady so I'm back also I part the sea that's a thing that he can do that is one of his powers is he parts the fucking sea there's fucking Noah over here just fucking part in the sea. Oh wait, is it Noah? Fuck, what's the... Not Noah. Um, I don't know. Fuck it. I don't know my religion. Um, I can't remember the name. It's not Noah, is it? Is it... Nope, I've gone. It's fine, it doesn't matter. It's religion. It's all made up anyway. Um, hot takes. Uh... <laughs> but uh, yeah it's just it's kind of again the same thing it's like and normally at this point we'd get another kaiju which we don't get another kaiju so it's kind of it's kind of more of the same like anytime we've had like a sequel to a kaiju film generally we've had another kaiju for it to fight and this one we don't well, I said it feels very much like a retread of the first film, just not as good for me. Um, and it's hard hard to put my finger on what I don't like about it, but it just yeah, it doesn't doesn't feel doesn't feel as good. It's, it's something about it where I'm just like I don't like this one as much as the first film. Um. I just don't like the characters as much. I don't know. It, like I said, it's really hard to hard to put into words what what about it, but it is just it's kind of just this. Uh, we're getting the same thing again. And I'm like, I kind of want something a bit new, like especially a sequel, but we don't get that. 
Um, which is a bit of a shame. I would have, I would have liked to see it. Um, I like to see something a bit, bit different. But yeah, um, hopefully we get something different. I don't know if we will. And we've got one more film to watch, and then we're done. Um, so I don't know if we will get another kaiju in the last film. I'm obviously not going to look it up before we get to it. But yeah, this one's a little bit, a little bit disappointing in overall. Um, I will say that some of the, some of the fights against Damajin are kind of cool, even though he's obviously just wrecked shop. That you know how they try and stop him with like grappling hooks, which I, again I don't know how they have massive ass grappling hooks, but apparently they do. Um, I mentioned that I was like, why do they, why do they have these? They are huge. But I think obviously this area you don't need a kaiju that's that big because the buildings aren't that big. Yeah, we don't have skyscrapers. This is like, uh, what would it be? Japan 300 years ago, maybe? We've got guns, so yeah, it's 300 years ago. Um, yeah. It's a this, is, this one's a little, a little bit of a letdown overall. Um, but there is an advantage to these films, in that they are short. <laughs> it's just like, that is sli a slight advantage, it's like, oh, well they don't stick around for too long, because you're like, oh, oh, I'm not enjoying it. But it, do it does, especially after, maybe it's just because I watched the previous one straight afterwards, but, um, straight before this, but, yeah. Not the greatest. Ooh. Ooh, sorry, do apologise. Um... But yeah, uh, I think that's, that's my thoughts about Damage I just have a little bit less to say about this one because there's just a little less going on. Obviously, it's for, again very similar to the first one where it's a samurai film with a kaiju thrown in at the end. Um, so yeah, it, like I said, it's very similar. Um, and yeah, I, I haven't really got much to say. Um, like I said, hopefully, hopefully the series is redeemed with the next one, which I think is Wrath of Damaging. Um, so yeah, we'll look forward to seeing that, and then we're gonna watch. Uh, I believe we're gonna start the Mothra trilogy. Um, so I'm looking very much looking forward to that because I can't can't wait to what, finally get in, get into the Mothra trilogy. I've been waiting for that for ages. I've had that for a while, and I'm like, now's the perfect time. We've We've kind of caught up with the Heisei era of Godzilla. Um, we've caught up with the TriStar Godzilla. Um, and so the Millennium Era would be after the after the Mothra Trilogy. So we watch the Mothra Trilogy first. And then we get into some... Uh, I think we'll probably do the Millennium Era Godzilla films. Um, I think that's where we're going to go next. Uh, but for now... I say, live long and prosper. And I'll see you for the next time with Wrath of Damajin. Bye for now.